One of the most tossed about questions, apart from who is Old MacDonald and why hasn't he invited me to his farm, is how are you? And people go about answering this question. They say, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm well, how are you? Sending the question back again. Look, we don't want this question circulating. It is doing bad things to the world. People are lying. Let me help you now. Like usual, I can help you. I do that a lot, don't I? You're welcome. In advance. You see, when someone asks you, how are you? Or how was your day? Or how are you today? Or how is your hair not affecting today in comparison to yesterday? Not many people ask that. Now, what you shouldn't do is go and lie, say that you're fine or something. You've got to think about the question first. Think about your day. Take a moment to yourself. Hi, how are you? Just a moment. How am I? So here's some things you can think about when you're asked to reply to the question, how are you? When you woke up in the morning of this particular day, did you find yourself in the middle of a paradisical, paradisical ocean where dolphins were serving you hot tea that was iced? Iced hot tea. Did you then attempt to stand up off your bed and discover that you can fly? Did you then fly into space and back within the matter of, say, 28 minutes and a half, just to be safe. Did you suddenly discover that, if you didn't already, you suddenly liked the taste of olives and it started raining olives from the sky? Did you then look down and see that you are wearing a bow tie which is conscious and can talk to you? Did said bow tie then add you as a friend on Facebook? Did the bow tie, your best friend, then post a happy birthday message on your Facebook wall and then you discovered it was actually your birthday? And then you got married. And then you went to a funeral which turned out to be a party because some guy had faked their own death and now they were back and partying. Rest in peace. Just kidding! Did the clock strike 12 and then you looked at the moon and you discovered that it was actually made of cheese and it was smiling at you and then it winked and then your brain exploded, expanded so that it was so big that you were so clever and wise and knowledgeable that the whole world decided to make you the emperor of the universe. And then, your first act as Emperor of the Universe was to ban the word touché. And then, someone said you can't do that, and you replied touché, therefore using a word which doesn't exist, and kind of badly using it, and it doesn't make sense. But anyway, you had a great time. Did you get the ability to talk to monkeys? Did you have a baby? Did you discover you were descended directly from Christopher Columbus? or someone. Did your smartphone turn into a genius phone and then it taught you the mysteries of life? Did you meet me? Did you uncover the ability to change your eye colour just by blinking? Did you grow a third ear on the back of your neck? It's a good place for an ear. Did you grow a mouth on your stomach so your food can go directly in? Did you have a staring contest with an inanimate object and win? Did every single compass in the world upgrade itself with a fifth direction named after you? Did you create a planet? And so if the answer to any of those things is no, then you should answer accordingly. Don't you dare say, I'm fine, if all of that did not happen to you. Because you're not. Have a good day. I'll be right back. I'm back! Whoa! Where'd these come from?